Grant, what's it been like uh, first time in an NFL facility as a member of the team? What's the whole experience been like for you? Uh, it's been good so far. I guess first day, kind of doing football stuff today. Uh, it's been really good. Um, it's, uh, it's a lot of information being thrown at us and everything, but um, I'm trying to prepare the best I can and uh, just get better every day. So it's been good so far. Grant, Jalen, I uh, heard uh, discussed yesterday kind of, kind of your relationship. Could you delve uh, a little bit further on, uh, you know, your connection at uh, Oklahoma and, you know, what it means to, I guess, team up again with him? Yeah, no, super excited about that. I uh, haven't been able to see him yet, but, uh, yeah, we had a good thing going at Oklahoma, you know, in practice and everything. Um, like I said before, he's, uh, I know I have a lot of respect for him um, on and off the field. And, uh, you know, I know he's obviously a really good player and really excited to, you know, get to work with him and, you know, get better together. Your what first glance at the playbook here, what are your impressions of it? Oh, it's awesome, yeah. I mean, we got a pretty condensed version in rookie minicamp uh, just because there's a lot of information, but uh, it's great. Yeah, we, we did a walk through uh, earlier, like I guess a little bit ago, and um, you know, it's, it's really cool. I mean, I like how the tight ends using the offense, you know, doing a lot of different things, and so it's been exciting to learn it. The guys who you were spending time with when you were out of football, uh, you know, preparing to be a fireman, what has been their reaction to the way that the last couple of years have gone? Oh, they're excited. Yeah, they're really excited for me. They're uh, uh, actually, two guys in our our, uh, our video team were uh, our paramedics, and so I kind of got to talk to them like uh, yesterday, uh, and they were like, "Yeah, man, you made the right choice, <laughs> whatever." But uh, yeah, no, they're all excited for me. Um, you know, they had my had my back throughout this whole thing, so uh, really appreciative of that. In terms of uh, NFL tight ends, you would probably be on the, on the lighter side. What are the plans in terms of of, of your weight and? Uh, what have the, the team told you what they want? Uh, yeah, coach asked me about my weight. Uh, I'm about 243 right now, and uh, Coach Michael is happy with that. I mean, he hasn't told me to put any on. He said, you know, that's good. So um, I'm guess I'm going to stay there and, until I'm told differently. What are your first impressions of Coach Michael? Uh, I really like him, yeah. I spent a lot of time with him last week on Zoom. Um, you know, super smart coach, super experienced. Um, I've learned a lot. Uh, he's been, it's been awesome. He's been available for me. Any questions that I have about the playbook, he's, you know, real responsive. And um, just getting in the film room for the first time with him today was, was great, too. I, I feel uh, as prepared as I can be. Have you, you mentioned, Dallas Goddard? And is, as far as you complimenting him, how do you think that is, is going is, is to work? Yeah, yeah, I've definitely watched him a little bit, especially watching film with Coach. Uh, yeah, I mean, crazy talented, uh, you know, really good player. Um, and yeah, I think I can compliment him well. I think um, you know I'm a, I'm a good player as well. Um, I have a lot to learn. I, I have a lot to get better at, and I look forward to you know learning from him and taking things from his game and uh, making the team better. You mentioned the yeah. Honestly, as a kid, I watched a lot of Zach Ertz. To be honest, uh, I feel like him and I have similar you know body types. We're not huge huge guys. Uh, um, you know, skilled in the pass game, skilled in the blocking game. Um, a guy that I watched a lot growing up. And so, I mean, it's ironic that I'm here now. But, uh, uh, yeah, I watched a lot of him growing up. You mentioned uh, <clears throat> that you watched the 2020 draft and got the idea to, that you wanted to come back. Had you thought about it before that? Tell me a little more about that. What made that yeah. decision crystallize for you? Yeah, I had thought about it before. I guess that was just kind of the moment, like the, the most pivotal moment where I was like, all right, like I got to give this thing a shot. Like I know I'm, I know I'm good enough. I know I can do it. And so, uh, yeah, I mean that. After that, I, I just, I guess, focused more on it. You know, started trying to get back into football shape. Uh, to you know my playing size uh, and things like that. I guess after the draft is when I started taking, you know, bigger steps towards coming back to play. How far off were you? Were you like, what did you weigh then? Oh yeah, I was real light. I was probably, you know, 215 pounds at that time. So. I put on a lot, or I lost a lot of weight and then put it on pretty quick to get back into shape to get to school in January. I'm guessing you were in a, a pretty scary place to, to retire, you know, to, to retire from it in the first place. So what was that? How did you go from there to, you know, getting to a place where you're comfortable? Coming yeah, I, I wouldn't say I was in a scary place. I think I just made a, like, a, you know, a decision based on my knowledge at the time. Um, it was just something, you know, I didn't have a lot of knowledge about concussions and 
we all know the stigma about head injuries in football. And so, you know, with the limited knowledge I had, I was just like, you know, I think I'm just going to, you know, stop playing. You know, I prided myself on a good career at Oklahoma. Um, and I was just, you know, ready to, you know, move on. And then, um, and then coming back, you know, I have so much passion for football. It's what I've done ever since I was a kid. It's all I've ever wanted to do is be a football player. And so, um, you know, that whole year where I wasn't wasn't playing, that's all I could think about was playing ball. And like I mentioned before, watching the draft really just made me like, okay, like I got to do this. Like this is all I want to do. Um, and so that's what made me come back to play. When you were working as an EMT, do you have any stories of like saving somebody or having to help somebody out of a bad situation? No, I actually, uh, um, so I got hired as an EMT by Care Ambulance. And then I decided to come back to football the day before my first day. So uh, <laughs> I never went, I went, never uh, started training or anything. I just, uh, yeah. Was it anyone, uh, anyone specifically that sort of, you know, told you uh, about concussions and, and the differences? Or is it you yourself, a doctor or anything like that? Or is it you yourself just doing more research? Uh, a little bit of everything, honestly. I'd say a guy that I went and saw was Mickey Collins as a concussion doctor up in Pittsburgh. Um, you know, he's a highly respected guy in the industry. And so I went and saw him uh, a couple times and um, he led me to be, you know, a lot more comfortable with me coming back to play. Um, reassured me that there's a lot of guys who play football who have, you know, head injuries like me or, you know, e even more severe. You know, my cases are really minor. And um, so he gave me some reassurance and also, you know, me and my family, like, feel really comfortable with me playing football. And, you know, I went through all last season with, with no issues at all, taking hits and, you know, all, all that concussion stuff is almost three years ago now. So in my in my mind, you know, that's in the past. And, you know, I've played a full year healthy and I'm ready to be playing just like everybody else. And, and, you know, this might seem like an odd question, but uh, in, in, in coming here today, one of the activities or uh, assignments is, is, is fitting your helmet, right? Yeah. Are, are you more cognizant of that because of your history? Uh, I guess a little bit, I mean, Helmets can only get so protective. So, you know, I'm in a super protective helmet, just like everybody else in the NFL. Um, I was talking with the equipment manager, you know, there's rules in the game, you know, that kind of help try to protect players from, you know, those big head-on hits and whatever. But, you know, like I said, I, I see myself as just another guy, you know, another player, you know, that was almost three years ago now. So, um, yeah, just ready to strap it up and get going. You mentioned uh, watching Zach Ertz. Um, what, what was it like uh, playing alongside Mark Andrews, who's you know regarded as one of the better tight ends in the league? Yeah, it was good. I had a full year with Mark. Um, obviously, super talented player. Um, I, I got to learn a lot from him uh, my freshman year at OU, uh, and then we stayed in contact, you know, throughout my time in college. Um, so yeah, it was really good. It's it's really good to see, you know, how how much better he's gotten since he's been in the NFL. Um, and yeah, just really improved his game. You know, it's been great to see. Uh, it was awesome to learn from him too.